Dear friends, today I'll talk to you about the cataract. You know, our human eye work like a camera in which there are the certain focusing lenses and certain zoom lenses like that. So in the eye, if you see here, there are the cornea and this is the lens and the work of these two is to focus the light on the retina. If it doesn't focus properly, you will see the blood image. So what we call it out of focus. Now, due to some reason, if these two surfaces get opaque, then uh, you will not have the clear image. Most of the time now, this uh, lens is the culprit, where the lens get opaque and the light which is focused, which has to focus on the retina, it is not focusing properly or the image is very blurred. Cataract forms. The person's first complaint will be that he is not able to see clearly for the distance or if the night when he is driving, he feels that if the opposite light is coming, he is getting glare. And many times the main complaint of the people will be that when I see the TV, I can see certain uh, ghost images or certain blurness image will be there. And the most commonest problem is that if the, what is the strip is there where the letters are coming, he is not able to read properly. And in the initial stage of the cataract, people may see in the sky, if they see there are the two or three, three uh, moon images will be there. So once the cataract comes, the only solution for this is we have to remove it. There is no medications, no drops, no injections, no food or no exercise can help. So we have to remove this lens and we have to put another lens, we'll call it the intraocular lens. Now, once you put the intraocular lens, then again the same thing will happen what we were able to see before. Now, there are a lot of confusion is there that which type of lens I have to go, which type of surgery I have to go. So first, uh, today I will uh, speak to you about the type of the cataract surgeries. Now, basically, if you see there the sutures, uh, suture surgery and sutureless surgeries. Now, in the suture surgeries, what happened that uh, when we cut it and the cut is big, we have to put the sutures to secure the healing. Nowadays, this uh, sutures technique is almost obsolete. So we are doing all sutureless surgeries. In the sutureless surgeries, also there are the keyhole surgeries and what you call the SICS or MICS, small incision manual cataract surgery. So in a small incision, what we do that we make about uh, 6 mm incision, make a small tunnel and we remove the lens, uh, um, this cataract and put a lens and uh, this get uh, sub -silly. And another one we call it is now, which is the most commonest now everybody is uh, hearing about the laser surgeries, laser cataract surgeries. So these are the what we call as phacoemulsification. That with a small hole of the 2 to 2.8 millimeter, we remove the cataract with the help of the ultrasound energy, and then we put another lens. So both the techniques are good on them. But what happens? The chances of complications are very less in the uh, phacoemulsification. Or the, I don't want to say that uh, there is a complication will more in this, but definitely this is a much better surgery where healing time is less, infection will be less and person can go back to his work within 2-3 days. So this is uh, the type of surgery. And in the phacoemulsification, now we are having a newer technology, what we call the femto laser surgeries. So in the femto laser surgeries, a few steps of the surgery has been performed by the uh, laser. So cutting of the first initial cut can make it with the help of the laser and the internally we can crack the lens with the help of the laser. But again, we have to use the uh, fake open probe to remove all these small small pieces and put a uh, IOL.